I'm going to say it again, you do not have the luxury of self-pity. You know, I'm, I am meeting so many people who are consumed with self-pity. How tough things are for them. How difficult it is for them to make it. How bad their relationships are. How nothing ever seems to go right. So I said it to him a third time, you don't have the luxury of self-pity. He said, why not? He finally came out with it. I said, because you are hurting because of the stupidity of your own actions. You chose to go in violation of every biblical principle and thought you could have your way with this young woman and still have the blessing of God in your life. You put your needs ahead of her spiritual growth and now she's back in the Indian cult. And she had a heart and a hunger for God. She's lost it. So don't look at me and tell me to be sorry for you because I don't feel it. This is a serious principle here. When the devil said to Jesus, turn these stones into bread, he was saying, let your own needs come to the surface. Spend your life and ministry making sure that your needs are taken care of. It's like Paul said on one occasion, there are those with you whose interests are not those of God's or the kingdom of God. They have allowed self to rise to the surface. How did Jesus meet this temptation, by the way? By the way,